Hi guys! First of all, thank you for 200 subscribers. I got my Christmas tree up with Kirby at the top. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before, welcome back. We like to discuss nostalgic television shows. I really had no idea that so many of you would love this content as much as I like making it, so that means the world to me. You all have voted on my poll and I listened. That means it's time to start season two of Rock of Love. Let's get right into it. Brett couldn't find love the first time, even though he should have chose Heather, but whatever. This is not an easy life to just fall into for any girl. So that woman that's gonna be with me has to be someone very special. This time, we're starting with 20 ladies, so it's much more manageable. Brett can actually take his time and put more attention into each girl, learn more about them, and hopefully make a better decision this time. As soon as he sees me, he will definitely be in love with me. I've come to get Brett, and I'm not leaving till I get what I came for. This season, we're in a completely new house. Maybe they got a bigger budget this time. This house is much nicer. It's looking way more like The Bachelor now. Let's meet some of the new lovely ladies. I am bisexual. I love making out with hot, sexy women. If I'm not getting it from Brett, then I'm gonna go find some hot girl to make out with. In Russian, it's yeah, правильная девочка для тебя. Выбери меня. I want to fuck Brett first, and then I'll make love to him. We're in for a fun ride. <laughs> Holy crap. My heart starts beating and I'm just like, I'm feeling really freaking nervous right now. Brett pulls up in a sick Ferrari. Brett's like, the first season did not work out. We had a lot of rock of like, a ton of rock of lust, but very, very little rock of love, right? This we know, Brett, because this is season two. So clearly you didn't fall in love. Be ready to go in there, rock this house. I was totally blown away. These girls were beautiful. I felt like a lucky man. It's a good day to be alive. One way that I know how to find true love, right? That's to go back into this house, get completely naked, then have an awesome party, right? So that's what we gotta do. Here comes good old Big John. What's that going on? <laughs> and we get a what's a going on. Three minutes in and our boy Brett says his catchphrase. <laughs> Hit my mark and... Those of you that know me from the first season may remember the ground rules. Please be respectful of the gear. Treat it as if it was your own. Please do not enter Brett's room or quarters unless escorted or invited. And last but not least, please keep the puke into a minimum. I don't like cleaning it up. Big John is a comedian. He seems like he's fun to have around. Everyone's like smiles and, Hi, how are you? So nice to meet you. But my heart's just like boom, boom, boom. Going into this, my biggest fear is being eliminated before I even get inside the house. Let's see if they'll eliminate any girls right off the bat like they did last time. I want all those decisions of who stays, who goes to be mine. Because last year, one of those girls that left could have been someone I could have fallen in love with. Ah, uh, okay. Brett is not going to allow that to happen this time. And for that, I thank you. Because <laughs> it obviously didn't seem fair in the first season, but they definitely did that to just like not pull at our heartstrings, but just like fuck with our heads. He's still choosing a couple girls. You up there, you hang, all right? You stay out here, right? What? Are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute. What the hell is going on? You hang and you hang, okay? Fuck, you gotta be kidding me. This isn't happening. It's pointing at me. It feels so mysterious. Let's see why. The rest of you. Go in the house. Have an awesome time. So these four girls stay outside and the others go in. What's going on? All the girls that go inside go straight to the bar. Who would have thunk? I run straight for the bar and start pouring drinks. Honestly, I get that though. If I were on this type of show, and I had free alcohol provided to me, I would definitely go straight to the bar. <laughs> uh, loosen up a little and get ready to compete. You four are his VIPs. <gasps> what? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm ecstatic that I have this VIP pass and it makes me feel like, you know what, I got this. I'm so happy that Daisy is in this season. I remember loving her on my first watch through years ago. He clearly chose them purely on looks, so that's a bad sign. I'm here to stay, bitches. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, that doesn't seem fair at all. It was a good twist on what they did last season, but it's a little strange that 
they get special privileges just because Brett's attracted to them. We walk into this beautiful setup room. There's champagne and present, you know, stuff I'm used to. Each one of you is going to get some alone time with Brett. One on one, just to get to know him where nobody else is going to interfere. Of course, the other girls are mad at the VIPs, and rightfully so. It does seem unfair, but I guess it's a quick way to get some confrontations and entertainment. Like, what the hell is going on here? You guys are out of here. You guys are done. That means you leave. This is a special VIP. Oh, Very yeah. important oh. pussy. Girls that got that stayed outside, they got VIP necklaces. That's why they're in the VIP room. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Step up your game, bitches. Oh. Step it up. Angelique is already a standout in this season. Oh, there is my pool over there. I'm gonna to be a stripper right now. She's practically a French Barbie doll. She does this. Now it's time for Brett to take the pictures for the passes. Brett wants to take our picture. And I'm thinking, how sexy is this? I'm gonna make love to the camera. You know, and him, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna show him a little sex kid. I was like, yeah, I tap that. This part is just as gross as the first season. I love taking pictures of the girls because through the lens, I get to see a lot about their character. Are they sexy? Are they confident? Are they arrogant? Are they shy? You get to see all this. They all got to show off and Brett kisses a bunch of them. We all know I cringe every time he kisses someone. And I know a lot of you do too. Angelique, also apparently known as Frenchie, immediately pulls out her tits. This is not only very aggressive, but Hulu does not censor this. It's a camera, so to me it's an invitation to show him what I got. So while I was watching, I got to see some bear tits. <laughs> you know, it's like, did Hulu forget to censor it? Or, of course, I gotta censor it for YouTube or I'm gonna get grounded. <laughs> That is fucking hot. Rock my world, come on. And I've seen all these girls in the gym in all these positions, and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? I definitely was not gonna slut myself out there. Oh. What's I going on? Oh yeah, but look at me and do it. There we go. They make Brett and Courtney's interaction seem super awkward. Courtney, to me, just seemed a little uncomfortable. I definitely think that it is cool if a girl is shy and doesn't want to show everything. We like that. Okay. Awesome shot. I've never seen shorts so tiny. What are they even connected to? Like, <laughs> Then Megan steps up and she attempts to kiss me and I allow this. I know it's against all my morals, but I allowed her to kiss me. You just kissed like every other girl. He's like, Chrissy Joe is so hot. To me is one of the finest looking women I've ever laid eyes on. And then she comes up and wipes his mouth off like a mother does to her child. <laughs> okay, am I all wiped down? I have a weird germ. We're all clean. I love this. I'd probably do the same thing. For the girls, there will be a lot of pressure here. I think there's gonna be a lot of craziness going on. VIPs will now have their one-on-one -on -one time with Brett. VIPs, when they got their uninterrupted time with Brett, I was like, bitches. He's ready for his one-on-one -on -one time. And who does he pick? Who does he want to hang out with first? Me. <laughs> Megan is the first VIP he talks to. I need to wrap my legs around him and throw me out on the ground. It's torture. You know, I do a lot of modeling. I was just going to say, you have to model or something. Yeah, I have a way huge to... modeling It would be career. a waste if you didn't. I have a great career, I have a great friends, I have great family, I have great everything, and the only thing I'm missing is somebody to really share it with me. Her shirt is three sizes too small, and she's like, I was drunk, uh, but I think I had a good time. <laughs> I think that I have really had a good time. Megan is great, though. She's definitely entertaining. Be right back with your next VIP. I'll need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brent Michaels. Me and him forever. <laughs> Destiny is the next VIP. Brett is so hot and I just want to rub my hands all over him. She made him a bandana, which is very clever because Brett's going to remember this. I'm marking my territory. Destiny says she's not a psycho, but she is obsessed and she used to have posters of Brett plastered all over her walls. I'm not a psycho fan, but I'm definitely obsessed with Brett. <laughs> That's a little wild to me. Uh, that would be like me going on a dating show for the Jonas Brothers. <laughs>
They edited to make it seem like all she did was giggle the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Destiny with her sweet cackling laugh. <laughs> her hot lips and heaving breasts more than made up for anything that may be slightly annoying. I knew she was the perfect psycho fan to make sweet love to me or kill me. Daisy is the next VIP. So much kissing already, I cannot handle it. Kissing is really important to me. Luckily, it was on. It was like fireworks, like pfft, 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 And I was just like, I want more. I'm like, don't stop. Daisy's so cute. I don't know what it is, but I want to be her friend. Felt what I felt inside. I know there's something. There's something there. I am a musician also myself. Oh my I'm, Maybe a, that's I'm our an artist. Too. Yeah, this is crazy. I feel scared because I'm like, is this really happening? Are we really making an instant connection like this? All it shows them doing is making out. Every single one. Except Aaron. Inna bursts into the VIP section. <laughs> Don't try, baby. Check out my man. I knew there was good times going to be had here in the near future with me and Inna. It's VIP time. Go on, get. So Aaron is the final VIP to get to hang out with Brett. Brett is a rock star, and I love rock stars. I think he's just gonna love my personality and my charisma, and like, hopefully we can connect on an artistic level. I really like her hair. She's actually someone who is talking with Brett, and of course, this bores him. I've kind of like been all over the place like my whole entire life. Right. I know this sounds silly. No, tell me, there's I nothing silly at all. I fucking love MySpace, and I'm such a nerd. Like, I learned HTML just for MySpace. Right, I just have a feeling with Aaron that Somewhere along the line, I kind of, I don't know what happened. I just sort of... Like, that is so ridiculous. I mean, he wants to find love, but then he doesn't want to actually talk with any of the girls. He just wants to make out and, like, find out who's the most physically attractive. <laughs> it's bullshit. He leaves the VIP section, and a lot of girls are immediately all up on him. Uh, <laughs> French kiss. Mm. Now Southern cat. Right. <laughs> Yuck. The rest of the 16 girls only have one hour to get to know Brett before elimination. So whatever I have to do for that to happen. Okay, we'll make that happen. So mm -hmm. That would be love. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Brett. Yes, go on. Uh, on. No me. I've never had a moment in my life where you can ever, ever have too many girls sitting on your lap at one time. This is so gross. <laughs> I love Amber's reaction here. All the tongues, like, all at one time. That's, yeah. like, gnarly, dude. <laughs> the, the stripper half-naked alligator pit throwing themselves at Brad. And then there's the other girls that are really, really reserved and almost shy. And then I think I'm kind of in the middle. She gets the more reserved girls to go over and get Brett's attention. Let's walk over there together. But we do need to put our face in front of him. OK. All right, so let's do it as a team. I think this is pretty cool of her. She's not just trying to get his attention for herself. She wants to encourage everyone else to get his attention as well. How do you climb over 19 other girls to get to the man you want? Come on, Stop we'll do it, come on. Yeah. But I'm not scared to take a chance. Now he talks with Catherine, who seems really nice. I'm 45, I just turned 45 you on Friday. You are the beautiful. <laughs> the one big thing that's missing in my life is someone to spend the rest of my life with. But we know on this show that being nice will not get you very far. Oh, yeah, but we don't have too much time. We have to talk to him now because that's been like five All right, to ten minutes. All right, give me two minutes. seconds. You know what I love about Frenchie? She was just so needy of my time. And in some sick way, that kind of turned me on. What doesn't turn on Brett? He gets pulled away by some girls. Are you guys like gonna go talk to him? Of course. Yeah, I just don't are. want it. I'm not competing with a thong. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey, men. Uh, tis. Like I said, hey, and gave you my kiss yeah. on the cheek. Doing what I would That's really what do. I love about you. Hi, Hello. Honey. How are you? I'm doing awesome. He probably doesn't remember that happening at all. She did try, though. I'll give her that. My father was never there, and right. I'm just. I just want someone to love me. No, in a... This is not a good tactic to get a man. Am I wrong? How can Brett possibly get to know these ladies? He's just getting dragged all over the place. All of the tiny 2000s eyebrows. <laughs> Jackie seems nice and normal. Seem like you really want to find a girl. And I do. I think I'm that girl. The thing I loved about Jackie, she just had this kind of just cool, hot Italian thing going on, which I absolutely love. We could have a great fucking one night. What makes us go on beyond that? Sex to me is 
everything. <laughs> mm, I like her a lot. Outside, Courtney is about ready to fall in the pool. Courtney's been drinking a lot of whiskey. I don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. No, stop it. I don't mind. It's OK. I really want to get to bread before elimination, but my girlfriend over here is falling apart. Sisters before misters. Chrissy Joe finally gets him to go outside and talk with her. But then Brett's immediately like, I gotta use the bathroom. So I finally get this one-on-one -on -one time with him and he just walked away. I'm like, are you kidding me? That freaking sucks. <laughs> he gets distracted by some pole dancing. So much for Jackie being nice and normal. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> the longer did I have to go number one, I could hold it. Oh, that's a long pass, dude. Big John reminds Brett and he goes back to talk with Christy Joe and this other one. You know, there's something about Christy Joe's cold personality that just wants me to find out what she's about. Plus, I want to massively suck her face. Now, here's a big question. What brings you here? What, do you, what are you looking for? What you. Jessica is like, nah, nah. Full on, kisses him, like, nah. I feel for you, Amber. Like, everything that is going on here so far has just been gross on gross on gross. <laughs> Teen girls, I'm feeling pretty good. I know I've met. Sweetheart. Courtney is out cold. That couch does look comfy, though. I have to admit. Time to get ready for elimination. Going into eliminations tonight, I don't think I have anything to worry about because I'm VIP. This is the first time we're seeing and hearing from Sarah. It's ridiculous to come in, go through all this to meet a guy, and the second you have an opportunity, your next thing you know, you're like so drunk that you don't even know what the hell is going on with you. She's trying to help Courtney get ready. Well, you can see how that's going. It's eliminations in a minute. Come on, let's go. You know what? I think she's done. <laughs> she's done. Courtney is just going to stay in bed. She's way too drunk. Elimination time! Five people are gonna be eliminated already. Going into elimination tonight, I'm feeling confident, but just because I'm one of Brett's VIPs doesn't mean that I'm gonna be safe from being eliminated. The feeling I have in my stomach is like, my stomach is just turning and turning and turning. Here comes the elimination. This is the part I absolutely hate. I got 20 beautiful girls and 15 passes. How the hell am I gonna decide who goes home after one night? Megan, would you come down here? You keep your tallness, hotness, and sexy legness in this house and continue to rock my world. You know it. <laughs> Daisy, would you come down here, please? When Brett called me his little sex kin, I was like, wow. Destiny, would you come down here, please? All in a row. I get a pass, Daisy gets a pass, Destiny gets a pass. So far, that's the VIPs in the order that he met them. But then he skips over Aaron. He makes some more picks. Aubrey, would you come down here, please? Peyton, would you come down here, please? Hey. Roxy, Corey, Jessica, Sarah, and Catherine, will you come down here? Christy Joe, would you come down here, please? I got a pass. Thank you. Thank you. Felt a spiritual connection when you were the first to take your shirt off. <laughs> Angelique, bless her heart, but I mean, come on. Are you serious? I mean, seriously. Last pass. He has to choose one of the six girls remaining. I'm sitting back here, like holding my ass cheeks together, hoping everything's cool. I would be shocked if I went home tonight. I don't think it's a possibility, and I'm not really worried about it. He chooses Jackie as his last pick. Then I'm like, I thought I had a guaranteed spot. I didn't even think I was going home. Can I tell you one thing before? Oh shit, but wait. I'm so nervous right now. Before I, before you came out here, I, I wanted to go home. <gasps> and listening to you and how genuine, genuine you are, I don't want to leave. I do want to stay. Well, why even say that? Is she bipolar? Is she schizophrenic? If there's something in your gut that's saying you don't want to be there, then you should probably let another girl have a chance. I don't want to let one of them go, and then tomorrow you say to me, I want to go home because I'm going to feel sick in my stomach if I let one of these beautiful girls go home that I didn't get to spend the time with that I did you. And she decides she's going to go home. This means Brett has to choose a different girl. <laughs> well, we don't need that anymore. Obviously, after that, I've got room for one more. Jackie backpedals herself right out the door. Amber, can you come down here, please? Yeah. Amber, would you be willing to stay in this house? <gasps> oh my God. And Aw, she's so excited. That's so cute. Now because it's okay. we're still, Is that cool? <laughs> yes. All right. 
She seems genuinely excited and happy that he chose her. I totally dodged a big silver bullet. I have a second chance and I am motivated and I'm going for what I want and that's Brad. Yay, I like her. Would you all come down here, those that are tours about to end here? Because I would like to say goodbye. I'm completely confused and blown away by your decision. Anyways, yeah, Courtney is eliminated too. Everybody, you want to come down? Ah, uh, delicious Brett's Brew. Ah, uh, delicious Brett's Brew. Don't worry, I got mine right here. Are we ready to rock this house? It seems like they learned from the first season, so this one is already going much better. And since there's less girls, it's much easier to keep track of them. I'm so happy to have you along for the ride. I don't get paid to make these videos yet, so all of the support is so appreciated. Thanks for watching. Now let's move on to episode two. See you later, little potato.